So I have this scene here with these four guava fruit and I need to create four separate materials for each one and make a bunch of nodes and that's just annoying and all that. So the first thing that I do recommend is this plugin. This plugin is called the Redshift PBR Material Plugin for Cinema 4D. It costs $30. But if you think about your day rate or how much time you're going to be spending creating Redshift materials over and over, this is worth it in my opinion. I'm not sponsored by this plugin. I am not making any money off of this plugin, but I wanted to include it because it is a super useful tool that I incorporate day to day. Spend some money, you'll save some time. So go through the process of installing that plugin and then in your extensions folder, you can find the Redshift PBR material. Honestly, I think this should be a built-in tool for Cinema 4D, but we're gonna use the plugin for now. So this is what you're looking at and I just go to the auto texture and then I load up the folder that I need. So I already did the first one. I'm gonna go to my second folder right here and when you select it, it's gonna find all of the textures and then you can check which ones you want. You can adjust any of these other settings. For this, because we're only dealing with three, it's not that big of a deal. We'll click create RS material. Then with that done, we can see that there's a Guava 2 material right there. When we double click on that, we can see here that this is using the old Espresso node system in Cinema 4D. While you can use this, and I can very well just take this, drag it onto my second Guava, and it should work just fine. I might need to swap out for whichever one, but here's the way to convert it to the newer node system that is native to Cinema 4D. I'm gonna close this, click on the material that you need to convert, go to material, tools, and convert and replace with nodes. Click that, and then you'll see that we have a standard Cinema 4D node system with all the previous Espresso stuff. It might require you to just move some things around so it's a little bit easier to see, not a big deal. Little weird issue that I do notice with this plugin is that it does swap the ramp right here. So I'm just gonna reset this. I also just get rid of some of this stuff. So I'm just gonna delete all these guys. Not the bump map because I, I need that. But now we have our material using the Redshift Cinema 4D native node system. And if I hit the play button, we can see that we have the material applied. Now, the only issue is I will have to dive in and figure out which material this applies to which guava fruit, but for now, I'm good with this. I hope you learned something with this quick little Redshift workflow tip. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below. If you have questions, comments, concerns, whatever else, comment section is down there for that as well, and the link to the plugin is in the description. I will leave you with the final tip, and that is eat one gram of protein per pound of body weight, and you will make some Goodbye, my friends. Bye.